at this time of reflection where everything's been put on hold, I believe that we're going to be some, seeing some structural changes take place within what we call the church. I believe that now there's a time where actually God's trying to get the attention of his people, beginning to rewrite um, what our expectations were versus what his will is, what we thought was ministry versus what was actually the heartbeat of God. We're going to see this contrast begin to take place as to uh, what it is to really be the people of God in expression and life rather than in creed and in, in doctrinal position. We have so formulated our lives that we've lost the very heartbeat of what we're to be. We were never called to just do things. We were called to be a people. The ecclesia is the called out one. It's a people. It's a people that are the people of God. God is calling for his people to once again connect to the life of God that is found in Jesus Christ, to connect into that secret place where we can hear the word of God, where we can live out the expression of God's will and not just be caught in these religious creeds and, or, or these religious rituals or these, these standards of, of expectation where we kind of punch in and punch out, that we, we, we live out for, for a certain length of, of time or, or, or a point of time within our week or within our day and, and then we go about our business and he wants to uh, once again reveal to us that the life of God is not something that we clock in and out of. It's not something we walk in and out of. It's something that we live in all the time. That prayer doesn't just become something we do. Prayer becomes an expression of who we are because we're in connection with the Father. Jesus had this connection and so he could pray, Father, I know that you always hear me. And so I know that you're going to do the things that I ask because I know that I always have an audience with you. Oh, I'm so looking forward to the time where God's people have that confidence that God is with them. He's walking with us. Don't you want that confidence? He's giving it to us. So J Thomas is asking a question, Lord, we don't know where you're going and how are we going to know the way? And Jesus responds in verse 6 and said to him, being Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me, the way. The title of the message this morning is Way Better. It's way better. I'm going to use that way as an acronym this morning, and I'll get right into this. And if you're taking notes, you can write this down. W. It's way better. Because it's not about a religious system, it's about a walk. A W is a walk. That God wants us to learn to walk with Him. 